so stark, stark, stark wie ein Tiger und so groß, groß, groß wie eine Giraffe, so hoch, 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 hoch und ich spring, spring. For 28 years, the Mexico High School has welcomed exchange students from Schneferdingen, Germany through the German-American Partnership Program. This year, 20 students have come to Mexico. The German-American Partnership Program is basically a branch of the Goethe Institute, which is funded by the State Department on our end of things, and on the German end of things, it's funded by the German government, Bundeskat, Bundestag, a bunch of other different organizations. And they take two sister schools, um, one on the German side, one on the American side. They put two interested schools together. Um, and then basically once they make the handshake agreement, it's our responsibility to formulate a relationship with them and begin the exchange process of us coming there, or us going there, them coming here, getting the host families, and you know deciding how we're going to make it function. They, ha they have a, a set kind of... Um, list of guidelines that we have to go through, but um, they kind of partner us up and then we take it from there. While the students are in America, they experience the way families interact and the culture in American society, as well as taking various trips to learn about American history and geography. The things that we have created for them to do in school while they're here, they shadow. They take several field trips. Um, we have a school organized field trip to on Dag Lake Park where we see the Salt Museum and St. Marie Among the Iroquois. We have a school organized field trip for them to go to Oswego where they're going to see Fort Ontario and the Marine Museum. Then this year we have an extra special thing thrown in there that the college has organized for a concert and um, getting to eat lunch at the dining hall um, that our students are participating with them. They're going to be going to Niagara Falls for a day, so they'll get to see that uh, from a tourist attraction perspective, but they'll also get to see some of the other um, geological things that happen at Niagara Falls, made of the mist. Um, they're going to go to Washington, D.C. and New York, which again, our students get to participate with them. We'll take several tours there from a historical perspective in terms of like um, Arlington National Cemetery, Mount Vernon, so our kids are learning a lot of his history. While students are here, they experience the life of an American student as opposed to the life of a German student. The rules that they have there are, I think, a lot less stringent in terms of their school rules. They're not allowed, or they're allowed to kind of get up and go to the bathroom, and um, they can come and go to, from school as they kind of please. Their school day is very, very different set up. They're very open-minded, I think. Yeah. And the classrooms, every teacher has got a classroom in America. And in Germany, every class has got a classroom. The students at Mexico are welcoming, and they're excited to share this experience with the German students. It is a super fun experience. I love having her around, and it's also preparing me to um, go to college and have to live with someone else all the time. Due to financial constraints, the students from Schneferdingen will be traveling to Mexico every other year. In 2011, and um, we have an every other year program for us to go there, and this year we've instituted an every other year program with them to come here as well, which is something new. And part of that is really economics because of the financial crisis. Um, it's become extremely unaffordable for our kids to be traveling every single year and for us to be hosting them every single year. For Eye on the Tigers, this is Eamon Lacey.